Okay, so the package is shipped in this nice clean envelope. Uh, the device comes housed in this foam between these two slices of cardboard, one of which is your user limited warranty information and the other side contains the setup instructions. Basically plug it into your headphone jack, turn the volume all the way up, aim it at the television set. Couldn't be much easier. So the device itself is uh, fairly clean looking. It, uh, I noticed one nice thing is the stem here is narrow enough to actually clear uh, most cases unlike the headphones that Apple provides with the phone. Um, this is a really nice clean fit into any case you put it in. I'm going to demo it on this uh, Samsung 54 inch plasma screen with a Motorola DVR box uh, with cable provided by Insight Communications. Uh, I'm going to do use this iPhone 4. Uh, it works perfectly well on a 3G or 3GS, but I've got it installed on this iPhone 4 here. Um, so set up, like I said, super easy. You just go ahead and pop it in the headphone jack. What I like about it is it's a nice firm clip. It really snaps in there. It's nice, uh, really cool. And then uh, just activate the program. You'll have already had the program downloaded. The only way you can order the hardware is through the app. It, it you know you pay through the app store, and then they send it to you um, a week later. So once you open the program, the first thing you see here is the guide screen, or the menu screen. It looks like a lot like the menu or guide on your television. A brief description of the program on that channel, what's playing now. If I want to see more info, I hit the button on the left. Um, this is basically like one half of the interface. Uh, it's really cool. Uh, I could just hit a channel and change to that channel. But the other half is the remote half which is three main screens. The first screen is your main screen. You've got your numeric pad, your volume. Uh, then the four major networks are pre-programmed in. You cannot remove them as far as I know and clicking on them simply changes the channel to that. Uh, you can add your own favorites by just dragging the current program over there or by doing it through the program guide. I'll show you in a minute. Next uh, is your DVR remote. It's got all your standard buttons, play, pause, stop, record, fast forward, rewind. I'm not sure what the colors do. Uh, arrows are standard and then your main buttons up there. Last screen is your TV and cable power buttons. I'll go ahead and turn the TV on now. There we go. And once it boots up, I'll go ahead and go back to the main remote screen. And for old fashioned people who like to change the channel with just the plus and minus buttons, it works just like a standard remote. If I know the channel I want to go to, I can uh, type it in on the numeric pad here. Well, I typed in an invalid channel. Wah, 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 wah. There we go. Comedy Central. Or, um, and it, yeah, the DVR buttons all work perfectly. Um, I can pause, play, rewind. Uh, record works. I don't want to record this. Um, more info and the other half again is the menu or the program guide back here and what I like about this is um, when I was first going through it I noticed that a lot of channels didn't seem to be on their normal list and like for instance Comedy Central here is normally channel 59 
I was in channel 59 and I used this little convenient search function and it turned out to be channel 148 which is the Comedy Central's high definition channel for my provider so it basically anytime a channel has an alternate high definition channel it lists that as being the primary channel um, it's nice because a lot of time you won't know if something you're watching is available on high def unless you root around for it or hunt for it um, and this automatically does that for you so yeah I can change channels this way just as easily and it's really cool it works just like a normal remote uh, it's really easy to set up go to settings and first you want to do your TV you select who makes your TV the brand name there's about a zillion of them and then you go and once you select it it gives you well normally let's say uh, I know this is a Samsung so I'll just go ahead and do the real one there's a lot of S's and what it does is it gives you a list of all the different available Samsung models and to test out which one your TV is you just press the test button if the TV powers on or off then that's a working one for you you hit select bada bing bada boom you're in business you do the same thing for your cable box and once it's set up you just plug in the little doohickey at the top and um, you've got yourself a working IR remote. Now it only controls the uh, television and the cable boxes right now. It controls a huge amount of different providers and boxes and hardware, but it does not work for DVD or Blu-ray players at this time. I suspect that will be an update in the future. Um, and as the program is only $9.99 now, um, I would recommend getting it while you can. I've seen this IR hardware go for a lot more um, and this is a pretty clean one um, I'll show you how you order it you order it through the App Store which I also like I've downloaded the program already on this 3GS uh, but I haven't set it up program and this is a, you know you download it you don't have the hardware you get into the program and then what you do is you just hit activate remote control it sends you to the Apple App Store and you just hit activate it charges you $9.99 it says proceed I'm not going to buy it now I've already got it on two phones and I don't need it on this particular one um, but yeah then it charges you through Apple it's just one fee $9.99 they cover shipping I got it I mailed mine on uh, I ordered mine on Monday I got mine delivered on Friday, so it was fairly prompt. Um, it's a cool, cool little toy. Um, I highly recommend it. Um.